One year after the first democratic elections in the history of Tunisia, the public opinion is divided between supporters of the ruling Troika and opponents who are dissatisfied with the current situation. The MP and Secretary General of the People's Party, Mohamed Brahmi, claims that there's no reason to celebrate the 23rd of October. Are we supposed to celebrate the constitution which is not ready? The rising unemployment rate, the violence in the regions. Our role is to evaluate the failures of the authorities and not to encourage remaining in the deadlock. The MP Ahmed Khasrosi started a hunger strike to protest against the situation in Sidi Bouzid and the remote regions. The MP has boycotted the session at the assembly. The hunger strike is the only way of attracting the attention of the public to the poor situation in the country. We haven't achieved the objectives of the revolution. I refuse to attend the session even if the three prisoners are attending. The Prime Minister Hamad Ijbeli says that there is no justification for the opposition MPs who have left the assembly. He claims that all the authorities in the country are doing their best to overcome the difficulties after the revolution. The strategy of the empty chairs is unjustified. Why do MPs have to boycott the session of the assembly and question our legitimacy? We can discuss our political problems. The Troika is trying to stabilize the country and the assembly will finish the constitution. We have achieved many objectives of the revolution, but there are difficulties as we are living a transitional period. The boycott of the session of the assembly by prominent opposition figures on the first anniversary of the elections shows that Tunisia is going through a difficult period which could last until the drafting of the constitution. The Tunisian public and politicians have different views. Some believe that some goals of the revolution have been realized and others question the legitimacy of a national constituent assembly and the ruling troika. Adnan Shawishi, Press TV, Tunis.